Hey, what's up guys? It is the Vlog Golfer back with yet another video. You know what it is. Today we're going to Quaker Creek Golf Course located in Mebbin, North Carolina. Man, I'm excited. Um, I haven't played there since a tournament for the local rescue squad back in May. Um, and you know, I'm bringing my buddy Jared along today. He's dropping separate, so we're gonna meet him there. But as always, we're gonna try to do a little bit of chipping and putting and hitting off the driving range. So let's get to it. I'll see you there. All right, guys, so I'm here at Quaker Creek Golf Course. Still waiting on Jared to get here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some chipping and some putting. And then we'll hit up the driving range afterwards. It's a pretty nice course. All right, let's get to it. Hey guys, I finally caught up to Jared. What's up, y'all? Uh, so we did a little bit of hitting on the driving range, chipping and putting, as always. Uh, I'm actually feeling really good about my drive today. Jared, how are you feeling today so far? Uh, doing? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Got off work this morning, and uh, I feel like it's going to be a good day, but who knows? We'll see. We'll catch you guys on hole one. All right, guys. Uh, so this is Jared. Um, in case you were wondering why I don't contribute a lot is because uh, I think about my shots uh, a ton and Aaron's a personality anyway you know uh, this is his 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 thing but I'm I'm happy to prom promote the uh, golf courses around town and and I have a lot of fun playing golf so I'm hoping to, to contribute more but uh, right now this is the the stall right here so <laughs> I'm just here ha happy to help I finally made it to hole one and boy I'm excited. We got show the show the hole. It's beautiful. Yeah, we got can't really see a whole lot, but it is a nice, oh, yeah. pretty straight fairway. Uh, we got a group in front of us, and then a group in front of them. So probably gonna be a little bit of slow play today, which is gonna be perfect for filming. Uh, 500 yards off the white tees to the hole. Um, I actually really like this hole. If I can just hit straight, start off with a par five, get a good birdie in. Hopefully, a little bird dog. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I will see you guys on the tee box. Aaron off the first tee. It's a little bit of a slice going over those trees. I see it. Two off the tee box, baby. Smooth swing. Watch the ball. Shouldn't have said anything, my bad. <laughs> oh man, you hit straight on that one. Hit the tree, hit the tree, hit the tree, hit the tree. Hmm, mm. to the left. Man, this first tee box is rough, but I tell you what, let's go see where our ball is at, see if we can't make something happen. God helps me out a little bit here. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that went in the woods. I hit that really, really well. Uh, not the right direction at all. Hopefully I can find it. It's in the thick stuff. I'm gonna go over and check Aaron out. Aaron is such a great redneck, man. He's got the American flag hat on. The mullet. Oh yes, sir. Wow. Be right. Dude. Oh, 
break. All right, guys, finished up hole one. Double bogeyed that bad boy. Pretty rough hole off the start. I bogeyed, I win. <laughs> he won with a bogey. Uh, about to hit off on T box number two. See what happens. Yes, sir. It's all right. I think it might have rolled off. Just got gotta go. Had a hell of a bounce, though. Yeah, I did. I'll take oh, yeah. Oh, man. man, let me tell you, ah, man, that hole, bogey, 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 but man, I did so well on that hole, came up to the green and just could not finish it out, ah, oh, I gotta hit those holes, but hey, on to hole number three, oh, man, fucking tree. Nice. Wow, that could be perfect actually. Sit down. Well, once again, it's one of those things in my videos that if you've watched any of them, you'll realize that I have a thing for trees and trees have a thing for me. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna find my ball and try to get up there. Bank off the hill. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you might want to do that from now on. Yeah. All right guys, so we just finished up hole number three and I ended up with a double. Jared, or Got you a bogey. A bogey. Three bogeys. About three bogeys. So we're uh, about to tee off on hole number four, hoping we can make something happen on this one. See if you can see this hole too. This is kind of beautiful. Yeah. I wish I could zoom in back in the shade yeah it's nice though you can kind of see it better because we're in the shade it's a nice little course up on up in the country so all right let's try the next hole Four left. I'm, I'm hitting another one. All right. I'm just gonna take three off the two blocks. All right, guys. So I just finished up hole four. Uh, tripled it. Uh, Jared got a par. Woo! Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. It's it's frustrating. Um, because I know if I get off the tee box, I'll play a lot better. But my problem is, is I just, I can't get off that tee box at all. We're only on the fifth hole. So we, it usually takes about 12, 13 holes to get warmed up. Yeah, but that's too late for me. Cause you know, I'm trying to break a hundred. So, um, but, uh, 
We'll see you on hole number five. See if we can't make something happen. All right, so we finally made it off the tee box. Good and shot. Let me tell you, finally made it into the fairway. That's the first goal for the day is hitting yeah, the fairway. Yeah, and by golly, shot. we did it. So we'll see if we can't get up there. Okay. All right, guys, finished up hole number five. Um, once again, got another triple. Can't seem to get away from it today. Playing like I mean, it's one of those things where you come out here and play and you suck. That's what happens when you suck. So, welcome to the game of golf. Yep. So he got a par. Good for Jared. That's his second par, third par for the day. Second. Second par yeah. for the day. So, uh, try to do but better. We're learning. We're, we're learning. And I'm we're learning. He's better. been playing for 20 years. I'm and we're, learning. We're getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's what it's uh, about. 330 yards. We'll uh, see if we can't do something on this hole. What up, guys? Just finished up hole number six. Uh, bogeyed that hole. Uh, that hole, I played that hole a little bit better. Nice. Uh, I played that hole a little bit better. You did bogey it. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> bogey. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to cut that out. But, uh, anyways, so, uh, yeah. Um, so bogeyed uh, hole number six, um, played that hole pretty well, getting a little bit better. Uh, at least I didn't triple it, unfortunately, but uh, here we are, hole number seven. Let's get it. All right, guys, I just finished up hole number seven. Uh, I got a quad doggy. He got a trip doggy. Trip doggy. Uh, man, that was a rough hole. Uh, Hardest hole on the course. Off the tee box, hit one straight into the woods, dropped one, hit it over the water, uh, threw my club into a tree, Jared threw a Gatorade bottle up to the tree and knocked, knocked my club down. First try. First try. Uh, I wish I would have had that on video. It would have been hilarious, but uh, unfortunately I did not. Uh, but, uh, and then I proceeded to hit a couple more times and threw my club again. Uh, I, was probably, I probably threw my club like four times on this We're one. having fun. We're having fun. Loads of fun. Loads of fun, let me tell you. Uh, now we're on this fantastic number eight hole. And look at this bad boy. Over the water, onto the green. Uh, bunkers to the left and right uh, Usually I go into the water every single time. So maybe we'll see if we can't make something happen on this hole we not every time eh, not You got time. it. Yeah, we, we both have little baby baby slices. So it that works out perfectly for this hole We'll, we'll give it a try This is for Jacob Sagan because he told me to give him a shout out <laughs> while we were watching this YouTube video last night Jake works at Red Oak Brewery, my favorite beer, and uh, I'm drinking it today. But uh, this, is, this one's for you, Jacob. Oh, dang. Well, I hit over it about 10, 15 yards. Should have hit a pitching wedge, but didn't look bad. All right, my turn. So strange. I don't understand. Can't wait to get back up on the boat. On the bogey train. On the bogey train. <laughs> Waiting all these guys in front of us. Anyway. <laughs> all right, so we're back on the bogey train. Thank you, Jared, for that musical mm. introduction. I do appreciate that. Quality, quality. Music. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, so it's all for the, on the people. On that hole number eight, uh, I ended up getting the bogey. I had a great recovery. Um, Jared got a double, so I actually outplayed him on that one, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, and here is hole number nine. Love it. Nice water over the, nice over the water shot. Uh, par, par five. Ooh, par five. All right, let's see if we can make something happen.
Alright guys, just finished up the front nine. Uh, a 55 for myself and a 46 for Jared. Uh, man, we both struggled on that front nine. Obviously, he played it significantly better than I did. Um, had uh, one, two, three triples, one quad. Uh, everything else was bogeys. Um, had a couple of double bogeys. But uh, we're hoping that um, on this back nine we can make something happen, as always. Uh, still shooting to break 100. I'm hoping that it's going to happen today, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I told him how we did on the front nine. Uh, what do you think? How do you feel you played on the front nine? Eh. It's okay. Front nine's always the roughest. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it, it, it really takes like 14, 15 holes. To yeah. really get warmed up. That's why we play extra holes. Yeah, right. We usually do better on the extra holes. That is for sure. And we we come out here with like an intention of making our goals and yeah, and we don't. And then, ever, then once they they get destroyed, yeah, um, we get more realistic and then we play better. Yeah, that is true. Oh. Oh, this is such a tough hole. Yeah. It's like if you hit it, if you hit it bad, it's not good. But if you hit it well, you can fly that. It's just, it's a game. Yep. It's a tough hole. All right, I guess we can get up on the tee box. Oh, to the right. Come on, man. I think you should be good. There's like a little opening over there. Definitely behind those trees. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Sit down, please. Oh, oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Nice. Good. Right on the edge. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Sit. Nice. Nice. Punch. Nice. Punch, baby. Thank Let's you. go. Both shooting for bird doggy. Wow. Right through the trees. Woo. That was nice. Avoided that bunker. All right. Hmm. Oh. No, wow, not enough. We got the line, pretty much the same shot. I think you took a practice when you had to have that one. Your favorite hole. Oh man. Fing man. Blows my mind, man. Well, I had a great shot off the tee. Um, Jared had a alright shot okay. off the tee. Yeah. He uh it worked. Hit a pitching wedge and landed on the green, maybe like six feet away. Missed my birdie putt. Missed my par putt. Bogeyed it. 
deer got a par. I mean, it's just, it's just every single hole. Have great shots, get up there, can't putt, can't drive, can't really do anything else. I mean, why, why, why am I even out here? Like, why am I even out here playing golf? Like, it just, it, it just blows my mind. Have some great shots, and you just, you, you just can't, there's nothing you can do. I mean, I, anybody that plays golf, comment in the comment section how how that is golf and that's how, how it's played and you just gotta roll with the punches but we're on hole number 11 island hole the island uh and we'll update you after this Wow. Why is everything going left? Hmm. Wow. That's in the water. Get on. Let's have a little little draw on it. Look at this. Oh my God. Stay up there. Stay up there. Hole number 10, uh, I got a bogey. Jared got a... I got a quad. Quad seven. Um, oh, I don't like saying that. Had a terrible uh, shot off the uh, tee box the first time, and then the second time I laid it up there perfect. I mean... It's supposed to be the easiest hole on the course. That hole is? That island hole, yep. Wow. That's crazy. Um, but we are on hole number 12. 12. And uh, hopefully we can do better than par five. Then that's also another par five. Perfect. I just finished up hole number 12. Uh, ended up tripping. I didn't care what you get. Uh, camera battery's running a little low, so I'm gonna have to conserve a little bit of that. Um, I'll see you guys. I'll try to get y'all on hole 17. Um, then we'll wrap up with the final and some discussion of how we played today. Hey guys, we just finished up hole number 17. About to start on hole 18. Uh, right now I'm at a 105. I think Jared's at an 86, 87, somewhere Let's around there. See. Yeah. Um, and uh, back nine has been a lot better than the front nine, as always. Usually we play pretty, pretty, you know, a lot better on the back nine. Um, but we are hungry as heck. Oh. And uh, we're about to go smash on some food after this hole. Uh, at the end, uh, give you a short recap. Jared probably won't be in there because. Uh, we're going to be driving to the restaurant. Um, but uh, I'll give you a recap and uh, be sure to tune in for the video I post. Hey guys, we just finished up hole number 18 and we are on our way to go get some food. Uh, me and Jared drove separate today. 
so uh, he's not going to be in this ending part of the video. However, um, I do have our score recaps. So out of 18 holes, I shot a 112, and I think Jared shot a 91. Had I not had a terrible front nine, um, I probably would have hit that 100 mark. I had a quad on the front, uh, several triples, several doubles, and uh, I think maybe one or two bogeys. Um, as far as the back nine goes, um, I did have a triple or two, a couple doubles, and bogeys. Um, man, it's one of those things where it's, you know, I'm trying to get better day by day. You know, it takes practice watching videos. Um, I'm gonna, probably going to have to go back and get some more lessons, but... Uh, overall, I mean, it was a very hot day today outside, um, sweating like crazy. So, uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying this content. Um, when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a gift card giveaway to some sort of sports store. Um, so make sure if you can to, you know, like and share these videos. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, we've got content coming out weekly. And uh, I hope you guys are, are enjoying all the content. So I will see you guys on the next one.